Hey YouTube, it's your girl, okay, I'm back with another video. So in today's video, I'm sure you guys can tell by the title, I am going to be doing another Get Ready With Me. But before we get into the video, you guys know what I ask. If you like the content that I post, hit that subscribe button, hit that bell for post notifications, and if you like the video, just like the video. Also, comment down below. You guys know I love engaging with you guys in the comment section. If you're here watching my videos, please support me, help me grow my channel by subscribing. And if you guys have questions and you wanna slide in my DMs on Instagram, please don't hesitate to do so. Now, small disclaimer. Um, obviously I've already gone out because the makeup has been settled and still looks good. Um, as you guys recall, I filmed a video for you at my parents' house talking about this wig and I don't want to say unfortunately, but I didn't get power back until I was finished getting ready. So I struggle with my generator. So sometimes the lighting may not be as good, but I still tried to film for you guys. I just noticed that my eyebrows are crooked. You guys know it's a struggle for me. And they're a little darker than I would normally do them. I can pass with it because my hair is black, but typically I don't like my eyebrows to look like they're painted on, but it was a struggle. I did the best that I could, so that's that. If you guys wanna see how I achieved this look, see this outfit, you know, stay tuned. So I already have my eyebrows done and I already have on my Max Painter, Paint Pot and Painterly. Now if you guys can tell, it's a different angle. I'm filming this from my phone. Your girl still doesn't have any power. I do have a generator, but I try to use it very sparingly because, well, you know, I guess it's not really that big of a deal. Um, there's weird worse things, like I said, in life than not having any power. But let's just get it right into it. If the light cuts off, then you guys know what happened. Generator kicked out. But I'm just gonna go in and do my same transition colors and I'm using Max Brown Script. Like I mentioned to you guys, the browns that they have, I just like the way that they look as like my transition colors. So I'm gonna go in and do that. Also, um, the wig that I'm gonna be wearing is the wig that I made using Juicy Hair Affairs hair. This is the hair in its natural state. I haven't put anything in the hair. What you see is what you get. I'm gonna try to get up close. Um, the clothes is from another hair company, but the hair is from them. And all I did was wash it and let it air dry. I figured I haven't worn that in a long time and it's like this look that I'm going for. You guys always know I got like a look in mind and this is really gonna fit that look. So, I had to bring out the Juicy Hair Affair hair. By the way, I'm a brand ambassador. You guys can use my code Kim for money off. Right now they're out of stock, but you know, sign up for their mailing list. I'm gonna leave the link for that down below. Um, so you guys can you know, sign up for that when they're back in like, stock. Now I'm gonna go in with Swiss chocolate. And then what I do, I haven't put any on the brush yet. I just realized it's kind of just didn't look as blended as I wanted it to look. But I'm gonna go in and I just kind of like do a little like crease in here. And I was gonna do all flat colors on my eye, but then I just changed my mind. I remember I had this color by MAC called Coppering. If you haven't tried it, you really need to. Um, for this look that I'm going for, I just think it's gonna be everything. Kind of like a sultry, brown, smoky eye. Praise the Lord for having additional lighting because it has definitely helped right now. Especially without having power. I can just have one light running rather than the three that I normally have when I'm filming. But hopefully you guys can see the detail. Sorry about the 9 by 16 ratio, but I gotta film content for you guys. And the only way to do that is, you know, to improvise. So, phone filming it is. Yeah, you guys are probably seeing my blemishes now. Terrible. <laughs> but yeah. I'm just going in with Embark, sorry. And this is my Mac 224 blending brush. Love this brush, if you haven't checked it out, definitely do so. But I'm just giving myself a little bit of a corner and just kind of like smoking that out. Again, I'm just going for a nice chocolatey, smoky eye. And then I'm gonna bring it in with copper ring. And I don't have too much time because the whole power thing is like definitely affecting my get ready time. Like I had hoped to be ready by now and I'm not. But since I still have to do my makeup and stuff, might as well film it for you guys because it's like a different, a different eye look, you know? I want to give you guys like versatility. If you guys ever see me like lean back, I'm doing that because I want to see what it looks like a little bit further back. Sometimes when you're putting on your makeup and you're really, really close, you can't see it, but when you just like step back, you can kind of see where like all the flaws are. Like now I'm noticing that my eyebrows are crooked. <laughs> Woo! 
Y'all know these eyebrows. Booty girl. You ruined me. I promise you they ruined me. This is what my life consists of when I'm doing my makeup. I usually edit it out. I'm not sure again if I'm gonna keep this in. But. All right, but we ain't got time for this. Not today, already late. So now I'm just gonna go in with Max Cop Cream Brush. This is a Mac 233. 232 is faded because it's old. And again, I wasn't gonna do any shimmer, but I just feel like for right now, like the look that I'm going for, I think it would actually look the best. And just kind of like fan that in. You guys see that? Very lightly. So that's pretty much it for that. And I go in with a brush and just kind of like clean up any excess because again, I want it to be like sultry and subtle. You guys know the whole broken rice paper bit. Wait, I'm gonna go back in with my brown script once I'm done, just to clean up here. Cause I like it to be like really seamless. You can't really see any lines, but I can see the lines, so they gotta go. And I'm just gonna go in with bamboo just to kind of flatten the rice paper. Like I like the lift that the rice paper gives you for a brow bone highlight, but I just like to flatten it. Go back in, brown script. Do you see that? Oh. Like I feel like this foam camera is not doing it any justice. Now the lace that I have on this wig, pick it up from Terry Styles. And it's, a, it's her HD lace, <sighs> baby. I can go out with it like this. But like I really want to do like glam. Like, oh my, do you guys see this shine? This luster. Oh, I love this hair. Um. Also, on another note, you guys see that wig back here? I wanted. I forgot. I wanted to tell you guys about that. Um. So maybe I'll do that in another video. Um. I don't know. Maybe I'll do that in another video. But I gotta update y'all about that wig. Y'all know it was shedding like crazy, like a wet dog. <laughs> and I'm trying, I'm gonna do light on the makeup, lighter than I did last time. The only reason I did heavy last time is because I was gonna be in the video. And a lot of times if you don't put on enough makeup, it doesn't show up. There's my power. All right, I'm back. It doesn't look too bad. I do see brush lines, which I don't like seeing. I don't want to say I'm almost regretting putting that glue up top there, but you guys saw it look fine without the glue. But can't cry over spilled milk now and it's not even stuck. <laughs> it's not even stuck, like really? This is really not what I need right now. I feel like my contour on my forehead is just not showing up. And again, I'm just going for a more natural look. Uh, but I still want there to be dimension to my face. Let me set my face before it starts to move again. As much setting as I'm gonna do. I'm going with my Too Faced setting powder. You guys know I think that's my shade. I'm gonna go in with Blunt as my dry contour. As I do wet and dry contour. I think I need both. I think I'm gonna do raisin. You know when your makeup falls and you're like, oh my gosh, is it gonna crack? Is it gonna break? Is it gonna do this, is it gonna do that? That's what just ran through my mind. I might just rock out with raisin by itself. Maybe this one. 
What is this? Breezy. Haven't used that in a while. I'll do a little dab of that here. It's a nice rosy glow. Yeah. Do a little light on the blush. Now I'm gonna go in with my, my MAC Mineralize Powder in Dark Deep and dust off that highlight. I don't wanna say I'm flustered, but you guys know. You can probably tell. I'm not on my A game today. And it's a little warm now. I don't have my AC all the way up because I just don't want my generator to keep kicking off. It's one of the boxy charm brushes that I bought from I think eBay or Macari, wherever it's at, but I kind of like how this like just blends out this contour line. So with nothing on the brush, just blending it out. And now y'all know what comes next. Your girl's favorite highlighter by none other than NYX Born to Glow. Like the sun just shined upon me. I can't really see. So I hope it doesn't, come on nose. I hope it doesn't look um crazy. I'm gonna scratch the thought of new lashes because I can't find them. Yep. I haven't moved back all the stuff out of my closet back into my vlog room just as yet. And well, um, I don't know where they're at at the moment. And I'm not gonna, I ain't gonna look up ahead right now because I just can't be bothered. So we're gonna clean those old lashes off because I ain't got time to be looking. I got the smoke underneath my eye. That was carbon. This is Swiss chocolate. Had to go downstairs for my generator back on. A thousand dollars. That's what I get. And it's been doing the same thing from day one. But take it to them. And they treat you like a complete idiot. And tell you you're crazy. You didn't do this. You didn't do that. Yep. A lemon. Put on some mascara. I'm probably gonna film the rest of this video when I come back because your girl is running like late, late. So I put on my lipstick. I had to go restart my generator again for like the fourth time in an hour. And I'm sweating, and the glue is showing. I should have just never glued it down to begin with. I may just have to leave this hair in its natural pattern because I don't want to say I don't have time, but this is why I only deal with good hair. Because if this hair wasn't good, I wouldn't be like comfortable just going out with it in its natural state. But that looks like that's what's gonna have to happen because it's not gonna cooperate otherwise. Like not, it's not gonna cooperate, but my generator keeps cutting off and I just don't have time. So I'm gonna let this comb get hot. I'm gonna comb this back. Probably brush down my hairs at the side and leave it in its natural wave pattern because I honestly right now just, I don't have the time and the energy for it. And I'm already like still late. I really wanted to do some voluminous curls, but it don't look like it's gonna be possible. Like maybe I'll put some wand curls at the top, something, I don't know, but this is not the look I was going for, but I can't help it because I ain't got no power. I hate when my looks don't come together because y'all know I'll be out here on a regular just like bumming it. Like bumming it, bumming it. And then to add insult to injury, I just burned myself and took my powder off. Whew! I'm not worried. I can fix it. I'm gonna put in some of my Freedom Couture Serum. Just one pump. I don't really need it, but you guys know I didn't want to put any heat in this hair for a while, so heat protectant is what I'm gonna use it as. And I'm gonna use my Renews It Slick Stick 
to slick down those hairs. I'm glad I didn't decide. I decided before today that I wasn't gonna wear a wig that I had to glue down because this humidity, no, not working for you, girl. All right, <laughs> not renews it, renutrients. Where did I get that from? I'm just gonna try to get like a little curl in the front. It's not gonna be matching, but it's whatever because this generator just keeps cutting off and I really ain't got time for it. Like when I say I really ain't got time, I mean like I really ain't got time for it. At this point, it's to the point where it's like every few minutes. Trying for this little one little curl I got in the front to not drop. I don't want to say that might be the only curl I'm gonna get, but I'm gonna try to at least put a little bump in the end. Everything else is a problem. It's a process. It's annoying. Like it's all the above. I mean, this clip in the middle didn't even go in my head. Like, I just thought about something. I have an inverter in my car. The things I gotta do, I'm gonna plug it into my car and curl my hair on the way to my destination. Cause this is what I got to do. Cause that generator is about to cop, like, conco tight in. But see the curl I was going for? Like, this is the curl I'm going for. Like, real sleek. Like, don't get me wrong, like, I love the natural curl pattern of this hair, but it'd be a look I'm going for. I'm gonna wear my new jewelry. If you guys watch my um, jewelry haul video, then you would have seen. Speaking of which, I don't even know what I'm wearing. So I'm about to turn my generator off because my boyfriend is here already. And he don't wanna leave my generator clean, which is 100% understandable. Hopefully I get enough heat. Finish curling his hair, but it's about to come off. The struggle is like so real. We'll get into this look before we make sure to cut it off. And this eye eyelash is too far back this way. It's like I need my power back. I can't work under these conditions. I got two more sections to curl after this one, so I might be able to make it. Cause I really don't want to have to curl my hair in the car. I really don't care. I'm gonna do it. I'm gonna make, you know, make it work. But I don't want to have to do it. Maybe cut off on its own. Who knows? I don't really care too much if it's like curl, curl. I just don't want to really see like the natural curl pattern. I'm really just going for like a loose wave. And this will be covering. I'm gonna go over this piece again if I can. I'm not taking the curl iron with me. I'm surprised I got this much time. <sighs> this side is the important side, and it's cold, right ish. I can live with it. I you know you girls are OC like perfectionists, like OCD. Oh, thank you, Jesus. You know, it's probably happy for small messes. But I'm gonna look into that generator because, you know. I gotta put some more powder on the front of my head. Let me do that before. I'm gonna say before I forget. Before I start sweating and it looks crazy, you guys know I burnt myself on my forehead with the iron. I need to go some of my powder. So excited. I, I love this hair. Like, y'all hear me rant and read about this hair on my channel, like, all the time. But, like, I really didn't want it in its natural state. Like, it looks good both ways, but as you guys saw in the beginning of this video, but I'm really just going for that glamorous curl that I know I can do. Yes, it's me. It's her. It's she. <laughs> All right, let me stop playing. Yes, this is why I keep telling you, like. When I say Mises is my favorite store, I am not like lying to y'all. Like I legit mean it's my favorite store. I don't want to say it's hot in here, but there's stuff open. Yeah. 
tidy it up now. So this is the finished look. Um, I have my Vince Camuto bag. I have on some guest flats. I'm always in flats. I don't have time for that. It's uncomfortable to go out in heels. It's not about that life. And then the dress that I picked up from Naked Wardrobe that I'm gonna be doing a haul video for along with some other hair, hair companies, some other companies. You guys see where I'm going with this. Um, and then of course I curled my hair. Um, I did already go out and I had to finish from this video. I did recurl it because you guys know the power struggle. It didn't get curled right to begin with. So I had to put a little bit more oomph in it to finish this video. But let me know if you guys like it. And if you like this angle of me showing you my outfit better than me doing it from my actual camera. But that wraps up this video. Thanks for watching. Bye for now.